Kimar Roach is a spectacular bowler. When you think about Roach, I think Roach is the, the last great West Indian bowler produced since the retirement of Ambrose and Walsh. But time Mikey Holden is, is something special. 249 test wickets. If you look at the averages, you're going to see something different. Obviously, Roach plays a little bit more test matches than, uh, than Mikey did. And uh, I don't know if I want to put them in the same category, right? Like, it's hard to think about the era in which a guy like Michael Holden would play. He played in a rampant West Indies team, you know, part of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, or however you want to term it. He's part of some of the greatest West Indies bowling units. So you have all sort of all-time greats playing together and Roach by himself uh, sometimes probably could have picked up more wickets too, could have picked up, you know, Mikey could have picked up more wickets. I think, I think what I want to say about Kimar is that we have to appreciate his greatness, I think. What, and, and I want to say it in, in two different ways because his skill level is probably one of the best bowlers we've seen in a very long time across the world, right? In terms of application, getting batsmen out, because one of the things that Roach had early on was a lot of pace. Then he went through some injuries and, you know, he had a little bit of a hard time and he came back not as fast as he used to be, but look, he, he can get wickets. You need wickets, you need Kimar Roach and he's... He, He's heading towards uh, Big Bird Garner soon. Quite possibly could get to the 300 test mark. You know, that's 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 some more bowling. If, if he can go that long and get 300 test wickets, that would be amazing. But, you know, it's a long line of great bowlers from the island of Barbados, and he's certainly there. He's certainly a modern day great, I think, for West Indies cricket. One of the great bowlers we've seen in terms of skill level. Not express pace as he as he was when he just started. You know, he's up there. I don't. I can't really make. It's hard to make comparisons between different eras, and we probably shouldn't. And a guy like Michael Oling was one of the greatest fast bowlers we ever seen. If you had to pick one or, between the two, then I probably would go with Mikey all day. Most people would, and I don't think Kimar would be upset with that. But but he's a great bowler in his own right, and to have played in a West Indies team that oftentimes only relied on him is also something that we should acknowledge and respect. So Roach, achievement of 249, is going into the next test match against Bangladesh and certainly gonna surpass Mikey and it's quite possibly he could surpass Joel Garner before the series is over. So.